Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, Michelle, beauty today, and I'm predicting that midweek people are going to be running to the store to get those window AC units, perhaps, oh, yeah. or digging them out of the basement and installing them. We've got a couple of summer-like days where you're going to think, hey, is this the middle of August? Really? Wow. But, uh, you know, right now, pretty comfortable despite warmer than average temperatures. A live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar over Rhode Island in southeastern Massachusetts. Uh, Rain-free right now, just a few patchy fair weather clouds that have been moving through our area. Weather spotters are all liking it. Kelly in Westport said, as puffy clouds and 78 degrees. Jim in North Smithfield, warm and dry. And Stephen Warwick says it's 74 and it is feeling like summer. And it almost has a summery view up there as we look out. Blue skies, those cumulus clouds. 74 in Providence as well with the south-southeast wind. Humidity is still low enough with the temperature that it's not registering a heat index just yet. But I do see the humidity climbing over the next couple of days. 72 in Tiverton right now. 66 at the Coast Guard House and 70 in Bank Newport. Winds are going to be turning onshore we're going to see a southerly wind this afternoon, and that's going to allow for the coastline to stay a little bit cooler. But we'll keep on climbing in our further inland area. So right now it's at 76 in Johnston and 74 in Warwick. Here's satellite and radar. You can see where there are clouds just south and west of us. We're really lucking out here. There's a system well south and east, still east. Uh, in the western Atlantic that's helping to bring this moisture and the cloud cover onshore. Uh, for our area, we stay under the influence of dry, high pressure, which will keep our skies mostly sunny today and tomorrow. Now, on Wednesday will come our first chance of a shower or a thunderstorm with a backdoor cold front. I'm going to show you that. But as the little guys get off the bus stop this afternoon, warm and dry, about 75 to 80 degrees. And we'll take you through your future cast. This is at 2 o'clock. Watching those temperatures slowly drop through the 70s and 60s through the evening hours. Still in the 60s, most areas at 930 this evening. And then overnight tonight, we'll stay mild, upper 50s to low 60s. And like we saw this morning, there'll be areas of fog that could be locally dense right at dawn. It should burn off quickly, and then it'll be an even warmer day tomorrow. Uh, this may even be a little bit low. I'm thinking low to mid-80s away from the coastline with still temperatures in the 70s at the shore. This afternoon, about 78 in Pawtucket, 78 downtown, North Providence, 77 on the east side. The normal high, only 71. So again, we're running well above average. Barrington still at about 76, a warm day. Don't forget the sunscreen. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds. We've had some low clouds trying to hug the coastline. Most of those have burned off. 73 in Newport, 75 Hope Valley, about 79 in Coventry, close to 80 Burville and Cumberland, 78 Johnston, warm and dry conditions, and partly to mostly sun. Sunny skies out over the Cape, 76 New Bedford, and Fall River in the middle 70s. Waves on the bay, one foot or less. Visibility is just fine this afternoon. High tides coming up again at a little bit before 6 o'clock this evening, and we had a low tide at 11 late this morning. Overnight tonight, mainly clear, but patchy fog starts to redevelop towards dawn. Upper 50s to low 60s, and then on Tuesday, summer warmth, 84 inland, 74 at the coast. The outlook for Wednesday, it's a little tricky. It's all about timing out this front because on the north side of the front, temp temperatures will drop into the 60s. South of it, it's going to be in the 90s. So some dramatic changes here. The front slated to come through our area late afternoon, which is why I still have it on the warm side at 87 degrees. Shower or thunderstorm Thursday, maybe a shower at the end of the day. And Friday is looking possibly a little unsettled right now, but I still have us clearing out in time for the weekend. It looks dry and seasonable for the start of Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, 72 both afternoons. All right, a little mini heat wave in May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it's not complaining? Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah, 80s, right. you know. <laughs> it's better than People rain in the People in the mood 50. to go to the beach. Right. All right, Absolutely. thanks, Michelle. Now here's a look at